Well, Queensland is still in shock this morning after the horrific shooting that killed two young police officers, a local man and the three perpetrators. The shooters and the victims of the attack at Weambilla were known in nearby communities and locals are struggling to understand what has happened. A long and complex investigation has begun that will try to unravel how and why former school principal Nathaniel Train, his brother Gareth and Gareth's partner Stacey came to ambush police as they arrive for a routine missing persons check. Constables Matthew Arnold and Rachel McCrow were killed in a hail of bullets, while neighbour Alan Dare was shot in the back as he went to help. Our reporter Jemima Bird is in Chinchilla in Queensland and Hannah Joes is in Walgett in northern New South Wales. First to you, Jemima. Uh, two days on, what is the feeling there on the Western Downs? Well, Lisa, shock of the initial tragedy has turned to disbelief two days on. We know behind me there's dozens of floral tributes that have been laid by people in the communities. And as you mentioned in the introduction, these are people that were known to the community. And for scale, Chinchilla is about 300 kilometres west of Brisbane, has about 6,000 residents. Tara is not far away and has about 2,000 residents. So these communities are really small and these are, these are communities that know their police officers and are just deeply, deeply shocked and devastated. And we know that this, this tragedy has sent shockwaves around the country and around the world. And multiple investigations are now underway by Queensland Police with assistance from the New South Wales Police, um, Ethical Standards and other as well. But they're all trying to figure out how and why school teachers and a school principal came to become execution style murderers. We've seen photos of Nathaniel Train as a principal in Cairns with children. And Stacey Train worked at the Tara State School as recently as December last year. Katarina Carroll spoke briefly to the ABC um, a minute ago and she said that she's already spoken to the two surviving officers and is expected to meet with the families of the slain officers today. She told 7.30 last night that investigators are set to consider every avenue of the investigation, including whether the attack was premeditated and it'll also consider the, um, per the perpetrator's online behaviour in recent weeks, months and years. She said the four officers had conducted a risk assessment and the officer in charge was aware that they were heading into what should have been a routine job, a missing persons check. Here's what she told 7.30 last night. I know that the officer in charge also spoke to them, so they were quite comfortable about going um, out to the property and, in fact, from what I understand, quite jovial and, you know, having fun with each other. For us, this was a standard job. Let's go to Hannah. What's the community's reaction been to the news in Walgett there? Yeah, well, I'm in Walgett, which is a small town in the northwest of New South Wales, just across the road from Walgett Community College Primary School, where Nathaniel Tran was principal for about 18 months before abruptly leaving last year. Now, the community, as you might expect, is still quite shell-shocked. It is a town of just over 2,000 people, so emotions are still quite raw. Uh, this is a man who was largely well-regarded as a principal. So for people to see this man they knew and interacted with involved in such a tragedy has been um, a great blow. Um, one resident here expressed his disbelief um, about the situation by saying that this kind of thing, a deadly shootout with police in a seemingly unprovoked attack, would be something he would have expected to hear from somewhere in the United States, not in rural Australia. Now, as with um, any principal, there are parents here who still hold grievances against him for the way they say he treated their children. There are also parents who think that he was genuinely trying to improve educational outcomes at this school. But across the board, no matter what the opinion of um, Nathaniel Train was as a principal, there is a huge amount of shock and uh, disbelief at um, this tragic and horrific set of circumstances here. All of it will go into what will end up being a very long investigation. Jemima and Hannah, thank you.